What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, back with another video. Look, if you love fashion and fragrance related content, I think you're going to enjoy my channel, man. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There's a little bell icon in the corner as well. You want to click that to so make sure you get notified when I upload new content on the channel. Guy, look, I'm super excited, man. I'm super excited. Uh, once again, thank you to everybody that has already purchased these two beauties right here if i do say so myself obad and serenade which of course are the fragrances i did in uh collaboration uh with novelty's parfum look i'm just gonna tell you guys the, the the reviews are out there you know go to if you're not yet uh following me on instagram which is the underscore bowtie underscore fragrance guy on instagram go over to my instagram page and check out the reviews i posted some pictures of the fragrances and put things on my story from uh, comments and commentary uh, that people are leaving on these two fragrances and so far it has been nothing but great things and obviously look these are not people that I know personally so uh, quite naturally the opinions are very unbiased but it seems like everybody is loving these two fragrances man so while they're still buy one get one free basically I'll if you want to get your hands on these now is a great time to go ahead and do so now one of the things i'm excited about is outside of just the fragrances themselves guys we got a lineup for you this week the ladies are going to be giving their impressions on these fragrances and i'm so excited for you guys uh to hear what they have to say listen i know that you know we respect the guys of course what the guys had to say about my my fragrances but i know what you guys are you want to hear the ladies opinions and I, listen i got you covered this week, it's nothing but ladies that's going to be talking about these fragrances. So you'll get to see what they think about these fragrances as well. So I'm excited about that. Uh, but anyway, the, today's topic, we're going to be getting into 10 show-stopping fragrances. This is just period, point blank. You want to go into a room and shh, turn some heads, right? Have people whispering, who was that guy that just came in smelling like the guy? Then this is going to be the list for you because I got 10 show-stopping fragrances on the list today and these are fragrances that i don't talk about a whole lot so this is going to be a lot of fun so if you want to see what made this list of 10 show stopping head turning fragrances then you know the routine man keep it locked right here All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list of fragrances. I am enjoying a cup of coffee in my new coffee mug. Check that out, man. Shout out to the noobs. This is the newest addition to my coffee mug collection. <laughs> and uh, it's a nice mug. It's really, really, really big. I can fit a lot of coffee in there. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into this list, man. So show-stopping head turning fragrances first up on the list from the house of dolce and gambana from the one line this is royal night this is royal night and i think this one came out around 2015 if i'm not mistaken somewhere around there but man this one is probably my this is royal night and i think this one came out around 2015 if i'm not mistaken somewhere around there but man this one is probably my second favorite of all of the fragrances from the Dolce & Gabbana The One lineup. With The One, EDP being my favorite just for sentimental reasons. That was the first one that I got my hands on. But this one smells the most <clears throat> like the EDP of all the other flankers. But it has a little bit of skank on the base with labdanum. And man, just listen. This one turns heads for sure. Uh, like I said, the fragrances on the list today are ones that I haven't talked about a whole lot on the channel. So, you know, um, these are going to be some, some relatively new fragrances as it relates to ones I've really talked about on this channel. May have mentioned them, some of these a few times, but not much. But this is one, man, that you need to get your hands on uh, from the House of Dolce & Gabbana. Again, this is called the One Royal Knight. All right, guys, the next up on the list, this one comes from the house of Jerjoff. Now, I do have designer as well as niche fragrances on this list, but this one is called Richwood. This one is called Richwood. And man, this 
if, if you talk about a head turning fragrance, this is an absolute head turning show stopping fragrance right here. It just smells like elegance, man. You have some rose in here. It's a little bit powdery, uh, sandalwood, musk, labdanum, a little bit of tonka bean and vanilla as well. Just again, a very complex fragrance, but it smells so good especially when it starts to dry down man so if you want to turn some heads i know this is expensive you may want to sample it but this is one that comes highly recommended from your boy from the house of jerjoff check this one out it's called richwood all right now the next fragrance on the list this one comes from the house of Amwaj, and i don't know why this fragrance is not talked about a lot but it should be and this one is called imitation man imitation man it's another fragrance that does have the note of rose in here but man, this is such a unique take on the note of rose. It's kind of powdery as well. It's a little bit, I would describe it as a little bit dusty, if that makes sense. There's a little bit of a throwback element uh, that you get with this fragrance. And if, it, if I'm not mistaken, in some way, shape or form, it was kind of made to, uh, to be reminiscent of an era of the 70s. And I definitely get that in this fragrance, but it's not dated. So. That's the thing that I like about it. It's something that has a modern uh, touch to it, although it was made to, rem to be reminiscent of a time frame like the 70s. Man, this stuff is so good, man. And I'm telling you, when you wear it, especially a guy, women can wear this as well, but especially a guy, when you wear a fragrance like this, it just stops traffic. So check this one out from the House of Amwaj. This is called Imitation Man. All right, now the next fragrance on the list comes from the House of Bond Number no. 9. And this one is called Greenwich Village. Greenwich Village. Now I have talked about this one before on the channel, but not as much as some of the others, man. And this is just a beautiful scent. When it first came out, a lot of folks compared it to Baccarat Rouge 540. Eh, I don't really think so. Not that much, maybe 5%. Uh, but really, man, this is a really sweet fragrance. So if you're going out, if you're going out, you're gonna be out and about, it may be to a nice dinner or maybe to uh, more of a, a club type atmosphere or a lounge or something like that. This is one that you will wear that is going to get you positive attention. It's really, really sweet, but it works. That's why I said night out will be the perfect time to wear this kind of fragrance. It has vanilla, praline, again, just a lot of sweetness going on, but it works. So check this one out. If you haven't at this point, definitely put your nose on this one, man. This is called Greenwich Village. The next fragrance on the list, we're going back to the designer side of things from the house of Paco Rabanne. This is One Million Lucky. One Million Lucky. I mean, look at how much uh, juice I've used in this bottle. And again, not bragging, but I do have a pretty extensive collection, but I rock this thing because it just, it works. It is what it is. This fragrance just works. The hazelnut in this fragrance, the plum is just beautiful, man. It's succulent, it's mouth watering, and that's the way people look at you. Uh, when you wear this fragrance. It's just one of those that's gonna get you some attention, man. So if you wanna be a showstopper, you wanna stop traffic, you wanna get some attention wearing a fragrance, this is one you need to check out if you haven't for some point in time, uh, at some point in time in your life if you haven't already, from the house of Paco Rabanne, this is One Million Lucky. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, this is from their private collection, and this one is called Caban. Caban. Now, if Tuxedo is great, a nice patchouli fragrance, but this one right here is rose, tonka bean, and sandalwood. Oh man, this stuff is good, man. What it kind of puts me in the mindset of, if you take like uh, Grease Chanel uh, from BDK Parfums, if you put take that fragrance and throw a little bit more of a tonka bean kind of twist on it, this is what you get right here. So those two fragrances do kind of resemble one another, but this one is so good. It is so good, man. Listen, if you like a nice uh, fragrance that has a nice, a uh, beautiful uh, tonka bean, rose, sandalwood combination, I'm telling you, this is the one that you need to put your nose on. Again, if you can, you can sample it some way, somehow, but if you think tuxedo was good, you need to really check this one out as well from that collection. Again, this one is called Caban. Now the next fragrance on the list, we're going to the house of Frederick Mall, which is a house that I love because, again, you talk about some quality fragrances. That's, this to me is one of the fragrance houses that should be like the, the standard when you talk about a quality fragrance. Check this one out, man. This one is called Carnal Flower. 
caramel flour. Now this is definitely one that I preserve for special occasions. It is tuberose heavy, which is, in most cases, it's a really feminine leaning note. Now, this is definitely unisex, but guys, I'm telling you, especially if you're going out, if you're gonna be going out and about, especially a formal occasion, trust me when I tell you, if you have this, put this on your skin and you'll see what I'm talking about. It is a show stopper. From the house of Frederick Mall, this is when you need to get your nose on. It's called Corn Flower. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of Diptyque, and this one is called Tam Dow. It's called Tam Dow. Now, guys, this is an absolute showstopper right here. Sandalwood is the primary note in this fragrance, but especially for guys, man. Women can rock this, but man, especially for guys, because when it starts to dry down, you get some, some beautiful, warm, spicy accords that come into this fragrance with musk. Spicy, musky on the dry down with a beautiful, beautiful creamy sandalwood note. Please guys, please check this one out. You do yourself a favor, get your nose on Tam Dow. Again, if you like sandalwood, and uh, this is a very, to me, masculine take on a note of sandalwood with the spices in here. Perfect blend, blended to perfection. Definitely get your nose on this one from the House of Diptyque. Again, this is called Tam Dow. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this was released to, towards the tail end of 2020, and for some reason, nobody talked about this fragrance, and nobody has yet. I'm gonna do a full review on it because this is one you guys need to know about from the House of Givenchy or Givenchy. Uh, this is called Trouble Fet. Trouble Fet. And I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, you're shutting the show down with this one. Period, point blank, you're shutting the show down, all right? This thing has fig, fig leaf, and it also features a sesame accord in here. Now, sesame kind of gives this almost woody, nutty kind of vibe to fragrances, and it is absolutely gorgeous, mouth-watering. This stuff smells absolutely fantastic. And again, if you want to walk into a room and just totally command attention, this is one I highly recommend. You put your nose on it from the house of Givenchy. This is called Trouble Fête. All right, guys, and last but not least, this fragrance house seemed to get a lot of attention when I first came into the fragrance community, but as of over the last two, three years, I haven't heard much about it. And I don't know why, but this is their, one of their most classic, iconic fragrances, and it deserves to be on a list like this from the House of Sea Eyes. This is just called Number One. House of Sea Eyes Number One. And this thing has cinnamon, tonka bean, and vanilla. Uh, there's a beautiful cedar wood note when it dries down as well. It gets really, really woody and sweet. Man, this stuff is good. This is some top-notch juice right here. And again, if I want to talk about fragrances that's going to shut it down, when I walk into a room, a fragrance that's going to command attention when I enter the room, this is one that people really need to talk about, guys. I've seen them do a lot of like half-off sales on a lot of their fragrances from the House of Sea Eyes. So, this is one that you go ahead and need to put in your search engine on Google and find out about it because it is definitely one, again, that's going to command some attention when you put it on your skin. So from the House of Sea Eyes, this is one of the most iconic fragrances. This is called Number One. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video as I gave you 10 show-stopping fragrances, fragrances that are guaranteed to turn heads. As always, I appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world but you're right here with me and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget guys to like, comment, and subscribe and go ahead and share these videos out to the folks that you think can use this information or find it entertaining because I'm your guy, Darren, the bow tie fragrance guy. I love to look good and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.